Okay, good morning. Salma, are you there? Uh, the story is going to continue from 163 to 165. And we read the story yesterday. We have discussed it through. And then we're going to make some point. And today we're supposed to complete the comprehension. And then uh, we will start unit 10. Okay. So here yesterday, uh, our lesson was about the Venice, the, the, the city about the, uh, in the Italy, Venice. And then uh, this will be discussed about this canal, how it uh, looks. Okay, there was a story. And this one. Okay, so yesterday we, uh, we have, what we have done here, that, that those questions we have answered. Has any one of you been in Venice or somewhere in Italy? Then also that, uh, through the, based on the text, uh, can you express your understanding after the first part of reading? And he was saying that um, this was one of the authority uh, in the story. Okay, he says, play, uh, uh, he says play role that Changed. He talks about the key to understand these people, which is Venetian. And also, what was it about? It was like this was like his starting opinion of his meeting with the, uh, Marcelo. So there was one word we're supposed to figure out the meaning of it, which is uh, subtleties. Okay. So um, you guys just come over here. So I'm going to start to read the story one more time and then we'll move on. Okay. Sophie, are you there? Oh, she's here. Okay, the, the Venice is there. Yeah. Uh, here. Everyone in Venice acting. Count uh, uh, Girolain and Marcel told me. Everyone plays a role in the role. Of... Okay. The role changed. The key understanding Venetians is rhythm. The rhythm of the lagoons, the rhythm of the water, the tides, and we. I've been working, working alone uh, at Calidimala Mandalo when I ran into the Count Marcillo. He was a member of an old Venetian family. He was concerned and was concerned the authority of the authority on history, the social structure, and especially the subtleties of Venice. As we were both headed in the same direction, I joined him. The rhythm is like a breathing, he said. High water, high pressure, tense. Low water, low pressure, relaxed. Venetians are not, Venetians are not, attuned, they are uh, not all attuned to the rhythm of will. This is for other places, places with motor vehicle. Ours is rhythm of the Adriatic, the rhythm of the sea. In the Venice, the rhythm flows along with the tide and tide changes every six hours. Count Marcello inhaled deeply. How do you see a bridge? Pardon me, I ask. A bridge? Do you see a bridge as an obstacle? As just another set of steps to climb to get from one side of the canal to the other. We Venetians do not see bridges as obstacles. To us, bridges are transition. We go, every the, we go over them very slowly. They are part of the rhythm. They are the links between the two parts of theater, like change in the scenery, or like the progression from act one of a play to act two. We go over bridges. We cross from one reality to another reality from one street to another street, from one city yes. to another city. We were approaching a bridge crossing over Rio de San Luisa into Campo Meni. A trompe Loel painting, Count Marcelo went on, it on and is a painting that is so lifelike. It doesn't look like a painting at all. It looks like a real life of course, it is not. It is reality once removed. What then is a truthfully old painting when it is reflected in a mirror? Reality twice removed. Sunlight on a canal is reflected upon through a window 
onto the ceiling, and then from the ceiling onto the, to a vase, and from the vase onto a glass or silver bottle. Which is the real sunlight? Which is the real reflection? What is true? What is not true? The answer is not so simple because the truth can change. I can change. You can change. That is the Venus effect. We descended from the bridge into the Campo Menin, other than having come from the deep shade of Calidela Mandalo into the bright sunlight of the open square, I felt unchanged. My role, whatever it was, remained the same as it had been before the bridge. I did not, of course, admit this to Count Marcelo, but I looked at him to see if he would acknowledge having undergone any change himself. He breathed deeply as we walked into Campo Manin. Then, with an air of finality, he said, Venetians never tell the truth. We mean precisely the opposite of what we say. Okay, this is the story of, uh, uh, of our lesson from yesterday as well as today. So we have discussed earlier the, uh, the point here. Where is it? Here. Can you understand, uh, express your understanding after the first part reading? That was the first part reading, but we have uh, written over here. It was about the... Uh, okay, this first part of the uh, story was uh, said he made authority, he plays a role that uh, always changed. He talks about the key understanding of these people, which is Venetians. Also, this was the starting point of the, his meeting with the Count Marcelo. So guys, now let's move on to our lesson here. Here, Venice is famous for mosque parties held during the carnival. We're gonna start unit 10 or where we're gonna discuss? Where were you, Selma? We have a still in the great uh, unit nine. Where were you? Middle of the lesson, you're just some random question. So today's lesson, yeah. this is famous for the masked parties held during the carnival. What does Count Marcelo say about the people of Venice that emphasizes how much Venetians love to pretend to be someone else? So who can tell me about your opinion on this question? Hello, anyone? Sophie? I even solved the comprehension at home. You solved it? No, I did not. Because uh, Sophie? I, I, I don't know where you guys because started. yesterday we took the I was studying the stories. previous guys Selma Selma focus on the lesson you are chatting oh no I it's with you guys okay Sophie what he it is a what about what what uh Venice that emphasizes how much Unless we cannot to hear you clearly to be someone else but same time Sophie, Selma please if you cannot hear me, don't chat with the others because it's been recorded. It's going to be. They're responding to the rhythm. 
rhythm of the city. What is the rhythm of the city, guys? Rhythm of the city? Is the lagoons, the tides. Oh my gosh, I keep losing what I wrote. The rhythm is basically the water. Okay, hey, where do Venetians get their special sense of rhythm from, according to Count Marcello? Where do the Venetians get their special sense of rhythm from, according to Count Marcello's description? They get it from the water, uh -huh. the sea, the tides, okay. and the waves from the water. How? How the water changed the rhythm? High water, high uh, pressure, tense, uh, low. High water, water low pressure, relax. Right. Pressure, it means tense. And low water, Low pressure, it means relaxed. Okay, what about the, the rhythm? How many hours the tide changes? It changes every six hours. Uh-huh, every six hours. Okay, this is the answer. Thank you, Sophie. Next one. What other functions do the bridge of Venice have, according to Count Marcello? What other uh, uh, rhythm? It's, what is it? Bridge plays what? As we have described yesterday. It is a transition, uh -huh. a link. Transition. Link. How? One to another. One to another, we can say it like a, from the act, is one from one street to another street, one act to another act, uh, one scene, uh, scene to the another scene. Okay. So now, next question here over here. Describe some of the features of Venice that relate to visual or Performing arts. Art. Hey. What could you say? In the, the, in the part of the, in the story, I have mentioned some part of it. I described some of the features of Venice. When he was talking about crossing over the bridge, and he talked, take it as an example, one thing, and then he discussed about it, which was. Trompe Le. How do you read this one? I, I don't know. How. Leo Loel. Trompe Loel. Which is what is it? I'm really sorry. This net is very weak. My writing has gone. So. Trompele, oh, what was it? A lay oil. What is it about this one, uh, Sophie? You discover about this related to the visual performing or performing art. There was uh, that uh, he, he saw something which was this one. And how did he describe about it? it what, what was it? It is painting, right? Painting. That is so, 
So, life like. What does it mean, life like? It is, it looks real. In fact, it is not. Which is like, it's, it, It is painting, the painting looks real, which is not. And what does it say to you? And also, it also referred to reflection, which is hard to tell, which is real reflection and one end. It was about painting and then he, from the pa painting, he moved on to the reflection part, which is that hard to tell. Uh, uh, he said it's hard to tell which reflection is real, which one is not real. Uh, the painting is uh, look alike, look uh, life life like, but it's not. But it, in the real love, uh, it is. Uh, if it is it, if it's not, is it real? It's not. But uh, reality has been removed once. This is the. Uh, mm. uh, at the end, it was. It says reality. Wow, it is very, very hard to go on like this. Are you there? Anyone can hear me? Hello? Hello, guys. Guys, hello? I'm really, really sorry about this network. So I guess I'm going to contact through the chat in order to not to lose what I was writing. Okay, guys. Hey. Please tell me. Uh, the uh, answers from your mind, please. Guys, are you there? I cannot hear as well. Hello, now, how about now? Now it's getting better. I can hear someone. I don't know who is this. Hello? Hello? Wow. Okay, let's start from one. Okay, guys. I think for question one, 
Uh -huh. You know, in the... Yes, hello? Like the part where uh, Count Marcelo talks about the bridge. Mm -hmm. He's... He says that like it's a, it's like a link from Act One to Act Two, mm. and like this can be a hint to like someone. Else. So it, it, it basically what it, uh, question number one is before we start to talk about the bridge, which was about the, the uh, people, Venetians they love the uh, love the art and uh, 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 he he said that everyone in Venice is acting, and also he that uh, before we talk about the bridge. Uh, he says he's acting, right? And uh, the, the, the Venetians love to play a role because they are responding to the rhythm of uh, the city. But their city rhythm is based on the water. When it's high and high pressure and high tension, uh, when they feel, uh, when the water is low and the earth is low, they feel relaxed. So their life is dependent on this one. That's what they mean by that. Yeah. Uh, but about the, the bridge part was for question number three. So when you talk about the question number three, it, we would mention more about the bridge because bridge, bridge is more like a, the transition between one act to the another. Uh, but question number one was about the, the, what about the, how, how he emphasized how much Venetians love to pretend to be someone else because of the, their life rhythm. And question number two, where do the Venetians get Because of like the water? Where do the Venetians get their special sense of rhythm from? Uh, as we said, they, they get the rhythm from the water. The water, lagoon, tide, and wave, sure. which is... Uh, from the sea, the from tide, the, sea. the wave, the water. Uh -huh. water. water. Uh, when they're going to feel this one, uh, uh, the rhythm that the high peak and low peak, when is going to happen? Every six hours. So their life is depends on the water, not like any other city uh, based on the motor vehicle and, you know, up, uh, for example, what about uh, the Tripoli's uh, rhythm? What do you think? Rhythm of Tripoli. The heat. Mm, the heat. And uh, it depends on the morning and evening as well. Everything is about the traffic, automatic motor vehicles. But uh, Venice is not. It depends on the water, the sea water. Okay, the question number four was about describing some of the features of Venice that relate to the visual or performing art. It was at the, when he crossed the or bridge, he art. that art, that the carnival? Away. No. Yeah, the, uh, the painting. He mentioned about the painting. Painting is more like, you know, it's, it looks alike, looks alive, lively, which is not, it was painting. But it doesn't look like it's a painting. But uh, if you see, it, it looks like a real, but it's not. The reality has been removed. If you see the picture there on, on your book, it looks a real, but which is not. Set. Another way of explaining it is like reality has been removed. And as well as that, the reflection, the sunlight the reflection on them, uh, reflected on, onto the, on the window, to the ceiling, the rays, and to the glass, you know, that. It's difficult to say which one is a real, which one is a not real. That's how he compared the Venetian peoples. They love the acting and then their life is dependent on the rhythm as well as they have their life look like. We don't know which one is a real, which one is a reflection, which one is the acting, which one is not acting. Also they distinguish somehow. That's why the Venetians they play a role like an act in their life. That's what is their story about, okay? So guys, read it again, read it again. Okay. This story, when you read it more and more, it uh, comes more ideas, more understanding, okay? So I think that's it for today's lesson and uh, uh, we're going to complete this. Uh, I think this is the, yeah, unit, yeah, I unit, unit nine. So uh, tomorrow we're going to start unit 10. 
and try to attend your lesson as, as, as much as you can. Okay. Okay, guys, see you.